Okay, before I tear this uh, experiment down, I thought maybe I'd make a video of it and put it up because it goes along with a lot of the other stuff that's been posted. Here you see a coil back here. It's just laying here. This end of the coil is open. This end goes into an AV plug, a super white lead. The distance between this coil and this coil is significant. Uh, you adjust it so that when this lead comes on, these don't dim. You have to move it into the power region of the coil. And here we have a bunch of leads just sitting here. Uh, here's a lead, here's a lead. You can see him, he's just on a navy plug. This one's on a navy plug, you can see he's lit. They're just not bent up so you can see him clearly. This right here is just a clip lead that's stuck to this plastic right here, and I'll show you what it goes to. It goes over here to this lead board with 12 super white leads on it, AV plug. Goes up to that ground connection right here on the spectrum analyzer again. So this one really has a ground coming back and just sitting at the end of this coil. But what's what I need to show you, which is significant, is that it depends upon where you pull this energy from as to what's going to happen. Now if you can see, I'm going to have to switch hands here on the camera so that uh, you can see this clearly. You want to watch the leads down here on the side. And we'll go ahead and I'll take and bring this guy down. And we'll get the 48 leads on. And you can see that it, there's no perceptible difference in those leads laying there. And you can see this one right back here on the coil. You can't see any difference on it at all. Of course, what this blinking is, is I'm shaking, so you'll have to forgive that. As that wire shakes up and down, it changes. See how close it gets to that coil. So forgive an old man here in that demonstration. But you can see that it's lighting all 48 LEDs really bright and not impacting the coil coupling back here that's in the energy field. And it's not impacting these are just laying here with AV plugs into those metal clips. Now while I take and also move this 48 lead board in and out of the field, if I get really close to the coil, and, I, and you can see my shaking, that will change. But if I get right, right here, you see there's no difference in it, and you see the lead board's working. Okay? So what I wanted to show you, what's been stated by a couple of researchers in the past, and I've stated it myself, and that is, forget about this close proximity coupling. There is definitely an area where you want everything to be, whether it's a coil, an inductor, a piece of wire, whatever. But as you move away from the field, you'll find that you have an optimum point. Now, if I move this coil up close here, get it really close to this, this coil, you see those leads seem not to be impacted and the one that's on the coil seems alright, but we go over here and look what happened. This 12 leads went out. So we'll take and remove this back again to about, about there, and that should bring us back to where we have the leads here. And again, let me try it with my my other hand here and see if I shake any less. And you can maybe see those other leads through the back, but you see, they're not dimming at all. So it all depends on how you couple, couple off of one of these circuits to where you're going to show a CEC greater than one or not. 